<clears throat> Why is this a thing? Either Mario is super short, or these people are really tall. Super Mario Odyssey really has thrown a wrench into things in terms of clarifying the sheer size difference between Mario and what appears to be normal everyday people. Prior to seeing the Odyssey trailer and E3 gameplay, I was already wondering about Mario's odd body shape for quite a while. And not just his. All the Plumber Bros. For those who have watched my video where I calculate Mario's age, we know that Mario has to be much older than he looks. My final thought was that something was up. And in this video, we're going to cover just that. We're going to talk about the weirdness of the Mario Bros. And the Wario Bros. Is that what they're even called? I honestly have no idea, but Waluigi is the best out of any plumber. Just saying. Let's start by taking a look at the build of these plumbers. A defining feature of these plumber-esque people is their enormous schnoz. I mean, take a look at the size of their noses. They even jiggle when they move sometimes, as if they are loosely adhered to their faces. And beyond that, Wario's and Waluigi's noses are oddly pink. Next we have their iconic stashes that sit right under their nose, and each mustache is sort of tailored to their personality. Their heads seem abnormally large, especially in comparison to other human characters in the series. While large heads have always been a staple in the Mario series, I feel like the scale and stature of the plumbers is off. Which leads us to the following situation. We have three very different types of humans here. We have the exaggerated plumbers, the humans who have a pretty cartoony build, and then the most realistic humans from Super Mario Odyssey. However, all three of these humans exist in the Mario universe, and it throws a wrench into things. From what we can tell, the Mario Bros were certainly born in the Mushroom Kingdom. And further support from this comes from confirmation at E3, with an official statement that Mario is a native son of the Mushroom Kingdom. At what point he crossed over to battle enemies in the sewers of New York is unknown. But we finally have something solid to base Mario on. The plumbers are short, and they certainly aren't human. And this was something I think we all wanted to say from the start. Super Mario Sunshine definitely gave us a short vibe right away. From door frames to surfboards that towered over Mario. But the human thing was always debatable. We never knew if the Mario Bros were just an exaggerated human form in terms of how they were drawn, or if they really looked that way across the board. Think of it as a stylized drawing of sorts, where up until gathering future information, humans were simply imagined to look like the Mario Bros in their universe. Once other humans were introduced, like in the Mario Golf series, we then stopped to think about what humans possibly look like in comparison to the plumbers. A great deal of us grew up with the Super Mario Bros Super Show, which sort of made us assume humans were represented this way. But now that we know humans are different from our plumbers and other cartoonish humans, things change a bit. For one, it's possible for Mario to be old in human years, but young in Mushroom Kingdom years. The lifespan of someone of Mushroom Kingdom descent is unknown, and could be hundreds of years for all we know. The events of Super Mario Galaxy definitely make this outlook on things possible, given the large amounts of time covered between the games. We also know that both the cartoonish humans and plumbers of the Mushroom Kingdom are also delivered via Stork. In Yoshi Island DS, we can see that the Storks are carrying a variety of humans, and that the only ones deemed star children appear to be different looking. But what makes plumbers so different than everyone else? Why is their physique weird? We do have a few references to go off of to really take a look at what we're working with here. The first is Wario's internal structure, as depicted in his artwork from Wario World. We get to see how his body is laid out, and that he doesn't have a neck at all really. His head is resting right upon the upper part of his collarbone, we can see his various internal organs, what he has been eating, and some other cutaways that I don't understand why Nintendo showed us. But the measurements on Wario are absolutely insane. The average stomach can hold 2 liters, possibly pushing 3 or 4 at maximum. Wario's can hold 22 gallons, which is a whopping 83.27 liters. Yet he's still pretty short, as his size is still relative to Mario's. He's comparable to Luigi in height, but he is far wider than any of the plumbers. It also says he weighs 308 pounds, which is 139.7 kilograms. Although Wario appears to be offended by this number, I can't help but feel it is true. He must be extremely dense to fit all that within his short height. It is worth noting that Wario has changed sizes over the years, from being monstrously big in the past to the current size he is today. We also don't know if the 308 pounds includes the weight of a full stomach either. 
because 22 gallons weighs around 183.48 pounds, or 83.16 kilos. So it's apparent that the bodies of these plumbers don't adhere to normal rules as well, especially given what Wario eats on a regular basis. Swinging over to the second reference, we have the skeletal systems of Mario and Luigi. Both of these skeletons can be sourced from Super Mario Galaxy, and I have to say, they are pretty creepy looking. However, they do have a lot of interesting characteristics that clash with actual human skeletons. For starters, they don't have fingers or toes for some reason. They just have a circular hump where the hand and feet are. Perhaps the fingers and toes are cartilage or something else? It's rather confusing. They also don't have the split in their legs where the tibia and fibula are. Same goes for the ulna and radius split in the arms. Wario, however, does have the split in his arms, which makes things even more odd. He has a collarbone, whereas Mario and Luigi do not. Does this mean they are different species as well? I mean, Wario and Waluigi do have distinct pink noses without explanation. Could we really be looking at four different types of humans here? Why is this so complicated? Obviously, we could be overthinking things, and people could always argue that different artists work on different projects. But for me, all of this becomes part of the lore. Mario spent time in Brooklyn at some point in the past for an extended period of time. However, unlike what I used to believe, Mario was not a normal human there. He was more than likely an odd one out, based on how short he was and his exaggerated features. This also means Mario can be over a hundred years old because we don't know what the lifespan is of a native Mushroom Kingdomer. I mean, people are just now freaking out about a single gray hair found on Mario's head in Super Mario Odyssey. Is this the first sign of him actually aging? How long until he looks like this fella? There's just so many questions. And with Super Mario Odyssey playing the idea of realistic humans coexisting with cartoonish ones, we are left with the thought that there could be four distinct human species existing in the Mario universe. Wrap your head around that for a second. It's a lot to try to understand. But now that I jumped out on all of you, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the whole real human thing introduced by Super Mario Odyssey? Do you think Mario and Luigi are a different species than Wario and Waluigi? And last, do you think it's far-fetched to assume we are working with four different types of humans here? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, thanks for tuning in to this analysis of Strange Plumber Anatomy. If you'd like to join me in my YouTube voyage and continue to decode the nonsense that is all things Mario, then the subscribe button is just what you're looking for. Thanks for watching guys and gals, and until my next video, cheers. If you liked this video, perhaps you'll enjoy some of my others. There's a slew of other theories on this channel too, so regardless, I hope you enjoy.